adore Mort. He is irreplaceable. You know, we should have little Mort dolls because he's, you know, he keeps going. He's 84. And I've, you know, I've been on the circuit this last couple of years. And no matter where I go, I, I bump into Mort. You know, it, he's out there hitting the pavement, walking, performing. And he's so special that he continues. You know, I think that's what's important in this field is that we have some connections to the very root system. He brings a level of integrity and care to his performances, his high level of artistry, his, just his caring about it, his continued exploration of new technology. I was a classical composer. I grew up on the keyboard, so I know what that world was. Did I touch a keyboard with electronics? No. I didn't use a mechanical keyboard. And neither did Mort, because that, that was dangerous territory. You know, in those days, there was an urgency about letting the world know what this was, because we were so excited about it. It's like, oh my God, this is gonna take over. It's like amazing. And nobody knew what it was. I would do a concert, people would say, well, where is the sound coming from? Where is the, where is the tape recorder? You know, what, where is that sound coming from? You know, what happened was to market the instrument. I mean, this is an old story, but it's true. The keyboard was put on it. And so everybody said, oh, it's a musical instrument. It has a keyboard. The whole thing was hijacked or short-circuited or however you want to say it, but the potential of electronic music, it didn't get realized. It went down a left turn and it's just coming back now. That's why this period is so exciting right now, because we're getting another chance with a more educated audience. When I played for an audience in the past, I didn't have that listening to play into. Now I play and the kids know what's going on. And that's so refreshing, amazing revolutionary. This is a very exciting time right now to be playing live. I met Buchla in the late 60s and by that time Mort, you know Mort was number one with Buchla like 1963. It was always about Mort. Mort this, Mort that. Hey what about me? What about me? <laughs> but um, it wasn't until recently when Mort and I sat down and had an interview together in Berlin that I realized our approaches were so different. I would say, well, you know, the, the Buchla is amazing because it is, it is, it's a performance instrument. It was conceived as that, and it's just one of the best performance instruments we have now. And Mort would say, oh yeah, it's not a performance instrument. Don thought it was a performance instrument, but it really wasn't. And I thought, you know, we came from such different mindsets about the Buchla. To this day, I will say the Buchla is the most sophisticated electronic modular music system that there is. And Don really did uh, work to manifest that possibility. He had a lot of feedback in the system. All those lights, that was more decorative. They were part of the conversation. You did something, the light told you what was going on, told you the, the height of the control voltage, if it was high, if it was low. He had uh, clear visual feedback.
I dedicated myself 10 years to the Buqua performing live. And then I left it. Then I came back. I came back and there was a new instrument. It's a 200E, it's not a 200. But I'm coming back with the same uh, desire and ambition to do just essential live performance on the Buchla with nothing else. I mean, it's not that people aren't doing pure analog performance, they are, but I'm doing it with the Buchla. And I think the difference is, is that Mort has always been in it. And so he's naturally adapted into whatever, you know, evolutions electronic music has taken in a performance mode. So he's using other in things as well. He uses Ableton, I don't use that. He uses samples, I don't use that. He uses, you know, we're both very interested in spatial control, and that was a Don Buchla, you know, necessity. You didn't do a performance without controlling the sound spatially. Don Buchla worked continuously until he died. Mort has worked continuously. These are people who are woven into the fabric of what all this is. So I always felt that Mort was there first and uh, my senior, and he is, he is my senior. And now he's actually an inspiration as a senior. Because as I've gone back to uh, live performing and I'm saying, why am I doing this at this age? Why am I lugging my bukla around the world? And I keep bumping into Mort. He, you know, he makes it all look so easy. It's like, oh yeah, okay, yeah, you can do that. You can go around the world. <laughs>